What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, we're going to have a look at another Perseverance photo from Sol 4. And you're going to find this interesting because we all know that these so-called rocks are nothing more than intelligently made objects that have rock-mimicking software placed over them. And you'll see this because I'm going to point out where it looks like something's on a rock, but yet it goes past the rock into the background. So what does that mean to you, folks? Think about it. It's just like one object, but they make it look like a rock where it's separate from the ground around it which it's not. It's actually part of, how can it be part of the background and be part of the rock at the same time? That doesn't make any sense. This is how you know the stuff is being censored and manipulated. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see it right here. It's Mars Perseverance, Sol 4, right mass cam and Z camera. You can read the description below here. It says NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image using its right mass cam Z camera. Mass cam Z is a pair of cameras located high on the rover's mast. This image was acquired on February 22nd, 2021, South 4, at a local mean solar time of 14.38 or 2.38 p.m. Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, Caltech, slash ASU. Now, you can see the photo. It looks pretty good. Now, if you looked at it, you'd say, I see rocks. Now, the first thing that pops out is one in the middle here to the right of the middle. Kind of interesting. But what I'm going to look at is the area on the right as well as these couple of large boulders, quote unquote, uh, on the left hand side. And as always, folks, you can download it here to the right. It is a 1640 by 1200 and it is a PMG. Not the best, but it's a little better than a JPEG, which is good. Now, let's just jump right into Photoshop and have a closer look. Here it is right here. And you can see this was the size of the photo. Of course, we want to blow it up, get a little bit bigger. Now, it is a really good photo, actually. It's not half bad when you look at it. Looks pretty decent quality, but folks, you know as well as I do, looks can be deceiving. Now, let's just jump up here. That's slightly blurry. It's not the best photo, right? We can maybe shop it up a hair bit right there. Now, a couple interesting things I'm going to point out is like this big rock here. What caught my attention was this here. Kind of a weird looking rock, if you ask me. I'm seeing it looks like these pieces going down like this. We got this right here going like this. Kind of looks like it's doing that. We have this piece going up, coming around, coming around like a circle type thing. We have this coming down like this. Weird kind of designed rock, if you will. This right here. You'll see this much better. This on top of this rock. Now keep in mind, we have the background here and we have the rock here. Okay, this is what's interesting. We see this coming down. Looks like it's coming out a little further like this. Going like that. And then here, we see this doing this. And it's kind of doing this here. But why is it going into the background a little bit? I don't understand that. Do you see that? You can see where it's lighter color here. Because it does have a central line right in the middle. So in other words, we're going to do this again. Just to give you guys an idea what this thing's doing. And going like that. And there's a middle line right in the middle of that. See that? Okay. But again, we're in the background at this point where that lighter part is. And then we have the darker part of it on this rock. How does that make any sense? Okay. We have this item right here. Notice how this rock, supposedly rock, goes like this. And we have what looks like something circular on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll get up closer. Though it may be too close, but right there. In fact, let me take... The sharpness back on it. We can see that maybe a bit better. We can see it's an outer circle like this. And then we have something right here. And it looks like it's kind of sticking up from that circle. You folks see that? Okay. Let me back back out just a little bit again. Right there. Now, if you look really carefully, I can see something right here. Going up like that. Okay. Just remember that when we get back into this. There's all kinds of lines in here that we can't see. This right down here, check this stuff out. Well, it looks like a small circle type thing, again, with something much larger on the outside. 
like it's tall type thing, right? We have these other lines here, what looks like intricate little details, right? See that? This rock does not look natural at all. Looks like it's doing this coming down. Looks like it stops here a little bit, but then goes back down. We have this object right here. On the left-hand side, which I'm going to show you just after this right side, we have this right here. This is what kind of caught my eye right off the bat. This area right here on this rock, notice the shape of this, folks. Hmm. I thought that was pretty interesting. We have other little lines and details down here. All right. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. Now I'm going to show you what I found just getting into this in the color mode right here. Now, again, down here in the lower left, not so sure that's a rock, folks. Not really sure. This item right here I showed you on this so-called rock. Well, wait a minute. Is, is this a rock or not? Notice the shape is real, real faint right here going like this. And, of course, you don't really see the other side dropping down or not. You just see that. See it? Okay. To me, that doesn't look natural. That's right off the bat. That is intelligently made. See that? This over here on the left-hand side, kind of a faint line, kind of squiggly here a little bit, but look at the way this thing does this. Comes down, goes like this. We have these other lines like that. And, folks, it is actually there. See that? It's right there. Other straight lines and other weird lines over here. Notice how this is going like this. Folks, to be honest with you, this is another hidden junk pile. And they're just making this look like it's all rocks. This piece here looks like it's got some silver or some kind of reflective metal. This area right here. That alone screams intelligently made. Look at that. Look at the shape of this thing. Like this, this piece going down like this. Folks, look at that. Really? Check that out. Now, let's go into full black and white because we don't want to have the colors mess with us. Now we can see the shapes of all these items and not be fooled by the colors. Again, we still have this area right here on this rock, this so-called rock right there. Yeah. Has this round piece of something coming up like this. Again, it looks larger. And you can see that. Again, how is this background going into this foreground or... These are not rocks at all, which is the latter. This is no way natural. And folks, you can see this coming down right here. Notice under here. All right. This piece comes down, like I said. Center piece coming down. Check this out. Now, I did shop it up. This is the reason why you see this kind of like a little bit of graininess going on because we're trying to bring this stuff up. This area over here, like I said, on the upper right corner. Folks, you don't see intricate pots like this in a rock. You just don't. I'm not sure what this lighter piece is in here. Now, when you drop down here, check this out. What is going on here? Like this object in the center, like it's perfectly inset into this area. And it's right there. See that? You see a corner of something right here. Now, folks, here's the other thing you need to remember. When you see areas like this, you can see it coming around. This part, what you see is white, just like this white little corner right here. Now, when you look at the shape of this item here, this whole thing is actually white. It's not the ground color or texture that they're putting over it. Notice this piece right here. It's all white. Notice how they drew over this. If you zoom into this, you can see it going like this, coming around, going like this. It may actually do this. I'm not sure of that, but it looks like it's doing that. 
And you can see right here where they've actually tried to go over this item. I see a little bit of white here. And then all of a sudden we have this overlay on top of it. So when you do this, you can see that item. It's really actually there. But they're trying to hide whatever they can in this. Notice the shapes of this area. Like I said, just up here. This right here, I'm not even sure what to make of that. You can zoom right into that and see that thing. What is that? Almost looks like it has some kind of weird tubular type thing on this side. Or a little pipe type thing sticking out of the side. We have this underneath of this so-called rock. It is actually there. This is what I said. You got this other pieces coming down from that area. And you can see like this coming out. Right? It's the way they're manipulating these photos. You got to get your eyes to function differently. That's what gets you when you first start looking at these photos. You're going, how can that rock be part of the background? Exactly, because it's not really a rock. And what they're doing is they're messing with your eyes to make it look like it's nothing more than a rock. See the way that is? But yet you can see the actual lines going into somewhere else. It simply doesn't make sense. But it does if you bring the lines out. Then you start to see shapes of other objects that are linked to each other or to complete junk pile laying right here. So let's bounce over to the left side, see what we got over there. Remember when I showed you the shape of this object right here? Well, what does that look like when we enhance it? Well, let's have a look. There you go, folks. Check that out. Yeah, this is not rocks. I promise you, it's not rocks. These objects on the bottom. Just like in this area here, we have that piece, which I just pointed out, and we have all these other lines that has been scribbled out or with some kind of AI software, which I believe is the case now that they're doing, and not so much people, but an AI software design doing this. But you can see, folks, that is not natural. See that? Go back and forth with it. Burn through the BS, and that's what you get. I see another junk pile in disguise. That's what I say. As always, you guys give me your take. Folks, I said it before and I'll say it again. It's just more and more junk piles that they're covering over. They are looking at a civilization that once occupied Mars. It's as simple as that. And what they're doing is disguising these parts as junk stuff laying all over the place to look like nothing more than rocks. But when you get rid of the color, bring out all the lines, suddenly what looks like a small rock takes on a whole different shape. It looks like it's part of something else right next to it. Or it's just much bigger than what it really is. When you look at the left-hand side, that doesn't look natural either. Now, to the untrained eye, it may look like nothing more than a bunch of rocks. And I would agree. However, break it down, bring out all the lines, and that's what you get. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. As always, I like to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube would share it. Folks, as usual, more crazy stuff coming up, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching, always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.